Hello there, this is Rohan from US Authority. A very quick video on fallback with the new scatter desktop version. So the first step is to go on to eosauthority.com. Enter your Ethereum address. Your Ethereum address looks like this. It starts with a 0x and it has uh, quite a few alpha numeric characters. Once you enter it, you get to a page like this. This shows that you have an account. And if you are on the Genesis tab, you'll be able to see Genesis status fallback. This means you're able to convert the Ethereum private key for your Ethereum address and convert it into an EOS key. The EOS key should match this key here. And uh, here you can see the EOS public key the EOS private key starts with a 5. Uh, key change no, it means that the keys haven't changed, which means you're not hacked or anything of that sort. And if you scroll up here, you should see your account as unused, which means um, the account hasn't been used. In this case, this account has been used and uh, you still can have fallback, but this is a key thing. If you see Genesis status fallback, you are eligible for fallback. Now, how do you go about and do the fallback? We have a page here, which is eosauthority.com slash setup scatter. It's one page with everything you will need. First step, click on install and connect scatter. It'll take you to get scatter.com. That's where you can download scatter. Please click on it, download scatter and open it up. Uh, let me do that now. Um, give me a second. So uh, I'm just opening up Scatter. I have Scatter installed previously, so I'm just opening it up and entering my password in. Uh, this is when you install Scatter for the first time, it'll show you terms and conditions and so on. And you keep going. What you would do is you would click on import key text. And here you would enter your Ethereum private key. Uh, let me give you an example. This is an example of an Ethereum address and a private key. This address should match the one you saw previously. It should match this. If it doesn't match this, you have the wrong Ethereum address. Please make sure that you get the correct Ethereum address. Once you do, you'll be able to simply copy your Ethereum private key. So this is just an example. You have to get your actual Ethereum private key. Copy the private key. And I don't need that anymore. And then go into Scatter. Once you go into Scatter, please paste it. It'll immediately ask you if it's Ethereum or Tron. This is an Ethereum key. Uh, Scatter can work with multiple blockchains. In this instance, it has loaded your Ethereum key. Again, you'll be able to verify the Ethereum address there. Now. To convert an Ethereum key into the EOS key, just click on that, click on Convert Blockchain, and click on EOS IO, and that's it. As soon as you do that, it copies your Ethereum key and generates an EOS public key and a private key. You can export the private key uh, by, by clicking on that button and exporting it. But I wouldn't go into that. If you did it correctly, the EOS public key here will match the one you see there and you will also have an account displayed here in this example i just used a fake ethereum private key which does not have any account uh, if you click on refresh it should actually hold and pull all your accounts here and display it to you so that is a simple overview into how you would carry out your fallback process with scatter desktop and that's it once you do that you have your key you have your account here just go back here. The first step is complete. You will click on add account. Once you add account, it will ask you if you can um, allow scatter. Your account should be displayed here. You click on allow. And once you do that, you go to the final step. This will be ticked. You go on to the final step, send an on-chain transaction, and you're all done. You're complete. And um, you will actually be able to verify that you're able to send an on-chain transaction. Once you have all these three steps ticked, you're done, your fallback process is complete and you have full control of your account.
at any moment if you want to take a look at your transactions simply go back into your account name you can see all your transactions up here on your account and you're good to go and that's it that's all about fallback using scatter desktop and how you get going with your us account all the best bye bye